Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I'm going to do your reading. Uh, it is for the end of December 2023, can you believe it? Um, Gemini, check out other signs as well in your chart. Um, if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. That would be great. Um, thank you so much for your support as well. This year, I can't believe it's you know gone so fast. I have just uh, reshuffled, uh, pre-shuffled, I uh, reshuffled now. <laughs> Jesus, I can't speak. So uh, I'm going to blame that on Mercury retrograde because that's what I can do. <laughs> but uh, I'm ready to do your reading. I'm using the Rainbow Heart Tarot deck. I've had to cover some of the images up because of the new rule on YouTube. So uh, yeah, if you see some drawings, that's why. Oh, the lovers. It's a nice card, this one. Well, it's your sign as well, Gemini. Uh, with the judgment and the lovers. So someone is, it is as if someone wakes up and they are like, oh no, the ship has sailed with, get, with the Gemini. The ship has sailed. Gemini is my ship. What am I gonna do? Um, well, they could start off sending you a message. They could start hunting you down. It looks like that's what they're planning to do. It's as if this person had been with a foot in the door towards getting out and, you know, chasing you to like being in some kind of rabbit in the head, like not doing anything at all. Um, and this person is stressed now. They are stressed. They are stressed that it's they know that you have been very p patient with this them it's it's in terms of showing interest right making the connection exciting making you know it worthwhile being in, in in your presence um they i think they sort of thought that you and them will stay in touch and the right time if it's the right time they will then make a move but since they you have well they have said clearly made a move in the past because with the lovers you might even had a have had a relationship with them at least you've had a physical relationship with them because they feel that you are like no other, they do feel very comfortable with you. They are very attracted to you. They miss being physical with you. They feel that, you know, uh, from the first time you met, spent time together, it was a comfortable situation. They were not, you know, it, it was like you were meant, meant to be or that you've known each other for a long time. But clearly someone had been slow. It's something about them being like stuck somewhere, not not taking that risk in a way, which they will plan to do now. I'm picking up Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. I think definitely that's what they have in their chart. Um, now, you might not see this coming. You might also feel like, oh, if they are coming towards you, you might feel no. Or because this person have really stressed like the situation have stressed you out because like emotionally yeah you were involved with this person you had feelings you actually thought it was going to go somewhere or you just it you were going with the flow but yeah it's it's, it's then they, they caused an unnecessary sh showstopper <laughs> let's say that um and you have been you know, spend time on your own. It looks like you are actually abundant. You might be enjoying your career or just your routine as well. Like your routine could be, you know, it's it's like a rolling routine. You enjoy your work, it's busy, but you are also reaping the fruits of your labor. Maybe you're buying yourself something nice for Christmas or you're going somewhere nice. You could be creating wish fulfillment around your uh, your own home and um, Gemini so <clears throat> now when they come towards you they're someone that mm, well the good thing with this person they don't seem to hold a grudge but they are not really in a position to hold the grudge because they don't really have a grudge to hold 
<laughs> that might be you. So it is more that this person caused caused you stress, which is not in your nature to be stressed. You don't you don't want to be around someone that is like you have to tame or just someone that isn't as chilled as you are or just 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 they're just all over the place um and at the same time a bit oblivious to what's happened <laughs> and why why the situation how it is how it is there, there is a, a lack of maybe communication here um now with the two of pentacles so they feel that you are their yin to their yang as well i don't know if there is a like physical distance where because of the physical distance they were like okay i can't i don't have to commit or yeah i don't have to make up my mind because i'm not in the same location right so it's not like they they choose when the distance or whatever is an obstacle for for them uh, as an excuse but not for you so this person can be a little selfish in that sense but you know i'm picking up that this person have also there is maturity they are really um they, they have something to offer they, they believe they have that at least they believe that based on that connection you have the romantic moments that that their attraction and all that jazz yeah, but you will accept their message or that they can have an opportunity to come into you humble and sweet, <laughs> uh, right? But then again, around them as well. Around them, there is some kind of turbulence. Maybe that this <clears throat> maybe this person had to make a choice in love. Um, they did not make the choice. I don't know. I don't really see a third party. I don't really, but... With the lovers and the two of pentacles right and the three of wands there's been something they've been taking time to decide right they have wrapped up a cycle they have wrapped up a chapter i definitely strongly yo in this person's chart right i see that this person now is that it's it's, it's an awakening to this connection it is like oh my god you know them and i they are my equal they are someone that i flow with i i enjoy like this person could suddenly be like oh you know i remember me and gemini discussed this uh, they are so smart you know they gave me such good advice you know so it's like all that stuff is coming to them whereas in the beginning it might have felt like it was a physical connection right and um, it was focused on that but now they really miss you they miss uh talking to you right this person um is trying to manifest you they might be a little strategic <laughs> Uh, as well they they do really see you um gemini as as your your second home like their home like as if you are meant to be you know um uh, this person might have cancer taurus in their chart possibly you know this they they are <laughs> well they're coming towards you that's for sure <laughs> There, this person here is coming towards you so you apply to how it resonates but um i see when these really strong you know energies are coming up um i, I would say that the connection seems mutual <clears throat> yeah but at the moment these this is their fantasy as well there is something that like they are basing this fantasy on the feeling they have with you what they realize they want as well but now they have to be assertive and they have to take the opportunity if they get one but see here as well with the pages right they, they are coming towards you as if it's the first time there is maturity but you know uh, is the spiritual connection is the attraction right is that spiritual vibe is that going to be enough for you to reconnect with them i mean that's not always a given because i see if you were to be you know if presented in front of this person tomorrow right um and you were to be sent to an, an island let's say to spend time you will get along with them but maybe because there is a lot of heated emotions like it's a fantasy it is real emotions but have these emotions been in the real 
you know, real practical matters, right? That could be something like that. However, I don't, I don't see that this, yeah, there's any obstacles really. I mean, I, I see a very happy connection coming up for you. Um, definitely with progress here, Gemini. Maybe this is someone that you have recently met. I'm not getting, um, I'm not getting a past, whether it has to be a past energy. It's definitely someone that you haven't fallen out with recently, but you tell me, you tell me. So um, in your, you know, what's happening around you at the moment, um, Gemini, is that <clears throat> you are protected and you're, you are also aware of this connection, right? This, there is a connection that, you know, stand out from the rest. You know, it is a precious connection, right? You are sort of here also, see, you're enjoying improvement in a relationship. It's also what's in motion right now. It is going to bring success to you. It says, here is a fire sign coming towards you. Uh, your intention, however, if this per, like you, have a strong attraction to them that's for sure you and this person they could have sagittarius in their chart it's undeniable they might have pisces in their chart but but i don't know if this the king of pentacles is here as well your intention is very much that if this person was again all about the passion and, and fired up and, and so on right and that actually was also why this person was running elsewhere or where, you know, they're all about the passion, but do they actually turn up? Your intentions is to only move forward if someone, if you feel that you have met your king of pentacles, that means just someone that you feel that you want to continue spending time with, getting to know, keep in your life, right? Um, oops, these cards are not supposed to be there. Sorry about that. So... You know, you, um, they know, they know that, um, you will be direct this time around. You might also debate here, uh, Gemini, you might also debate here if you have the same feelings for them as they have for you. You might be surprised, Gemini, that the person coming towards you is as in love with you as the first time they met you and you are not. That's possible. Um, that is possible. So you could feel a bit um, like you know, you know the, the power, power in this connection. That's, that's for sure. Uh, I see that there is a marriage or commitment being offered to you. Someone could propose to you. It could happen quite fast. There's a lot of attraction here. Now, there could be a person that you have to move away from. It is possible that you are choosing between two people as well. You might have split up with someone and then you met someone else. Maybe you're dating someone. I don't know. But I do feel there could be a Virgo. For some of you, there could be Virgo. And the Virgo is kind of on your case but you are going to feel that this Virgo isn't your match whereas this person the fire sign which you actually you don't want to be your match is your match emotionally and how you're attracted to them there might be a person here that you don't want to be attracted to but you are attracted to them and you're going to follow your passion in this case they might be um they might be between a fire sign and an earth sign that you are going to establish which one do you have feelings Four, and that might surprise you. It might even take you off guard um, that you have feelings for someone or that you even move forward, that you will go back with and, 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 and yeah, revisit a situation because there's a really, really strong spiritual connection here. Someone is have matured. They are coming towards you. They are coming towards you humble. They are from your past most likely uh this is someone that you thought you moved away that made uncertainty and you could find yourself in it even in a situation where you feel oh my gosh i didn't really uh, i want to be single first of all i'm happy with that now i have my happiness and then suddenly you you have choices like when it comes to lovers and it might sort of overwhelm you as well but i, I think for the most part right this could be an aries or fire sign again uh they are taking the lead they are <laughs> 
you know, again, with the lovers, it, lovers keeps coming up here. So, <laughs> you know, this person, they are, they're not going to hold back. This person, this could be someone that really will not hold back compliments and not hold back, uh, well, how attracted they are to you. They might be telling you, you know, they treated you unfairly. They might be telling you they've grown up or they, they should have taken it. They took a wrong turn as well. Someone is here to make things up uh, and they are genuine with how they feel. Uh, they have good intentions. However, it it's, it's about you. Do you want to take this risk with them? right is it where are you at in your emotions but i see here a wish fulfillment is coming and it again it's it's as if you are not um expecting this to happen <clears throat> gemini you really aren't expecting it to go so fast you will see another side to a person here a positive side um they are you know we have a leo uh, taurus they could be that could they could have that in their chart and there, there's another person that could have you know virgo um so yes a queen of wands like they are coming for you <laughs> they really are like this there is a twin flame connection here and they they can't like they will literally cannot imagine life without you they can't imagine anyone else they they feel like they deserve their karma. They feel that they have got their karma, perhaps. They might be really open to you as well. This is someone, they are on a distance now, but they're coming closer and they are coming fast. This person had a realization. They've like, they got their ducks in, 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 in order, right? This person's from your past. And so it's, uh, right, this person is go. they are going for it. For sure, for sure here. And it could really, like, as much as it, it does, it is a positive surprise. But because you are also used to a single life or you are just sort of, you know, you're kind of fine with how your life is as well. And, you know, that's often when love, like, it's like this this situation for you where you, did, you don't expect love to happen for you. So it, it is. For some of you, it could even be someone you broke up with. A long time ago but this person you know there's been changes life's changed world's changed and and you are you are meeting up i, I don't really i don't see any really bad energy around here it, see see there was they have caused you stress at some point there is someone here that have caused it but i do think it's a little while ago and and you have moved on so your soulmate might be different from your usual type, right? There's going to be a conversation heart to heart, but it's require you to have faith as well that uh, destiny have, you know, destiny have brought you together. Um, and if you are in a good place, if you feel happy with this person and, and I see happy times here, I, I see a happy reunion Again, it's not something you're expecting. You might not have seen this person for a very long time. This person might even live on a different continent. You have stayed connected somehow based on this spiritual connection. And you might be a surprised, Gemini, that this connection is still very strong. That's what I think will surprise you. This person in the past could have had an outdated traditional thinking that you didn't really understand. You didn't really, again, it has to do with their choices they made. They could have been like, no, well, I live here. I've got to follow my tradition. Like they suddenly turn around, me took another path, right? There is also a date that someone had invited you for a date. But, you know, this person is coming back that's been healing. You've been healing, right? This, I feel it's a twin flame union. It is going to like... It's going to go really fast. Like this person might come across as, you know, mad. <laughs> They're mad and in love. And uh, like this person is going to try to win you over at any cost. Absolutely any cost. They will just sleep outside your door. They will blow up your phone. They will like do anything. It's a bit like... Romeo is going for the kill. <laughs> they are, yeah, th this, this person is not 
going to like uh, cause any obstacles this person will not like they will quit their job they will pack their suitcase i mean this person is there is absolutely nothing holding them back if they have been caught up in this narrow-minded thinking and that you know they couldn't they have to live where they are and stuff like that things that aren't really supposed to be um, a showstopper when you meet the one when you know that is the one for you but th that's that that's no longer a showstopper i think the distance could have been a showstopper where they are made like the geographical distance is a big thing that the culture almost made a big thing they could have got the wrong advice you know they have also ended a situation here with the narrow-mindedness they've, they've ended that um and they could have also had people around them with a scarcity mindset and actually they they see that <coughs> excuse me these people actually they are not really doing that well in life they're not really excelling in their finances as well they started to look around and they they're they're linking up a spiritual happiness and that this union is is the you know what brings them abundance in in love in life in in their career right they have got a, a they're completely new you and their feelings are they are happy you know they want to explore their feelings if this person had pisces in their chart maybe this person wasn't really in there like they didn't seek the intuition they have through their pisces energy they didn't tap into that but now when they're tapping into it they, their sensitive side um it is actually bringing them places right that it's bringing them back to you the empress you are the person right that you might have fire in your chart you are the person they put on a pedestal you are the person they look up to the person they are attracted to right and i see that this person have had pain about losing you that they have not expressed they physically uh miss you they don't physically feel attracted to anyone else than you um this person might be a Sagittarius but they've gone through a lot like and I think that um, this person have <clears throat> like they thought they were in pain based on like oh anxiety maybe because oh they they thought they had to be hasty about making a decision and then they didn't tell you and they kept secrets and stuff like that they felt worse afterwards they felt worse by any action they didn't take towards you and that that was lack of maturity for this person they can't compare they really can't compare anything to how it is to be with you so uh you will hear from this person gemini and i really hope it's someone that you do want to hear from because yeah well here they are <laughs> If it resonated with you, please like, subscribe, share the video, and uh, I will see you very soon, Gemini.